So in our last video, or my last video, um, I am going to be talking about or discussing why Jesus taught in parables. So it has been said that a parable is a earthly story with a heavenly meaning. This meaning that um, Jesus tells a story that relates to us, but the meaning behind it has far deeper lessons than we understand on earth, than we go through on earth. But we still go through. So Jesus frequently used parables as a means of illustrating divine truths, which is basically heavenly truths, truths that God um, wants us to understand. Stories such as these are easily remembered. The characters are bold, and the symbolism is rich in meaning. Parables were also a common form of teaching in Judaism, which if you didn't know, Jesus Christ was Jewish. Um, and Christianity was not created until after his death. Before a certain point in Jesus' min ministry, he had employed many graphic analogies, using common things that would be familiar to everyone. For example, salt, he used bread, sheep, and their meaning was fairly clear in the context of his teaching. Parables required more explanation, and at one point in his ministry, Jesus actually began to use parables exclusively, so he was only teaching in parables at one point, which is why we have a whole lot of them. So the, another question is why Jesus left his parables with no explanation. Sometimes he would just tell the parables and not explain them to anyone, except for his disciples sometimes. So they asked him once, his disciples asked him once, why do you speak in parables? And Jesus answered, to you it has been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been granted. For whoever has, to him more shall be given, and he will have an abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has shall be taken away from him. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because while seeing they do not see, and while hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. In their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is being fulfilled, which says, Hearing you will hear, and shall not understand and seeing you will see and not perceive. For the eyes of hearts of his people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes have been closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts in turn, so that I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. For truly I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. So basically what Jesus is telling his disciples in this passage is that the reason he explains things in parables and doesn't explain it after is because they won't understand even with Jesus explaining the hidden meaning behind it. He's telling his disciples that they understand because they're willing to open their hearts to something new, to something that um, Isaiah, a prophet from the Old Testament, prophesies about, which is Jesus being the Son of God. So he's telling his disciples that um, you guys, you can hear and you can see and you can understand what I'm really teaching, but that's because you are willing to open your minds and open your hearts to me. So that's something that we all need to learn to do ourselves, is to open our hearts and open our eyes and open our ears when we are being taught things um, through scripture or through 
biblical teachings in some way. Jesus taught in parables also to protect himself from uh, proclaiming things that uh, the Pharisees did not believe. The Pharisees challenged him a lot, and Jesus, a lot of times, would try to just talk back in very simple terms that they honestly didn't understand. And that's why they were so angry with him, is because they didn't understand, but they also knew that he was trying to change the course of their religion, which they weren't okay with. So Jesus talked in parables as to not prosecute himself or um, make it seem like he was necessarily teaching something that they didn't already believe. Jesus used um, the Old Testament, which is what the Pharisees used, as a weapon to teach the gospel, which is what he is. Jesus taught the good news through parables, and the Pharisees didn't like it, which is why he was crucified. But we should continue to read these parables and learn from them, because while they have a earthly um, story within them, they have a more divine truth that we can discover every day. That's why so many people use the parables in their teaching, because there's so many different meanings behind these parables. So I encourage you to read the parables and find as many meanings as you can. Try to figure out how to hear and how to see and how to understand with your heart and how to open yourself to a new understanding. I really enjoyed teaching. Um, and having this platform to teach you guys. Uh, And so I would really appreciate if um, you'd send me an email uh, saying what you've learned or have your parents Facebook message me um, saying what you've learned. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your summer and just continue to um, explore the, the truth of Jesus Christ. Another uh, thing that I'd like you guys to look at is if you are really loving YouTube and you want to continue learning Bible stories or anything on YouTube, um, look up The Bible Project, which is a YouTube channel, and they do a lot of great videos to help you understand a lot better. So, The Bible Project. I will link it in the bio below. Thank you guys so much. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace.